Hello YouTube and all LEGO fans, this is my second weapon video, rubber band shooter, a rubber band gun, the MP5K with a few attachments. Uh, last video you saw my G36 which is conveniently sitting right over there. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Here's the main gun itself, the MP5K. Set up basics, uh, bipod, or not bipod, monopod, foregrip. Um, reloadable clip, and this clip is extremely fragile. Um, I try not to reload it that much because, first of all, you know how, like, when you make your assault rifles, um, like you have the six or the eight, this is a four, so that's extremely weak. And then when I put the rubber band in there, the tension just got worse, so yeah. Um, no, let me see if I can. And there you go, now it's loaded. Not really though. Um, although I do think I did load it. Um, so yeah. So, there's the iron sights. It's not perfect, but it's still pretty good. Um, trigger. Oh, I guess it did not load it. Oh, well. Oh no, it is loaded. Hmm. Let me just go like, alright, whatever. I'll get to that later. So yeah, um, that's basically it, uh, here, and by the way, um, I got this thing, so there you go, that flips up, smack it, or whatever, like, like Modern Warfare 2, when you pick it up off the ground, when you pick it up off the ground, you know, you just, just go like, that, you know, it'll just fall. There you go, just go and be loaded. And this clip is about to break, I can tell. Um, and this is not the actual barrel. That is. This barrel is for the silencer. And I will put that on real quick. Hold on. And there you go, MP5K silenced. Um, so yeah. Silencer, pretty simple. It's just five of these wheels. And I think like a 14 or 16 stud long um, rod or connector piece. So yeah, um, now I'll try to take this apart or take the top off so I can show you how to reload. And that did not work so well. You guys, sorry about the camera. It's just that I don't have a good enough bipod. So yeah. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so there's the mechanism. And it is loaded, but of course, with my luck, it missed the gear itself. Alright, so there we go. I'm just going to try and load this thing again. Okay, now we're loaded. So the mechanism is very simple. It's just, alright, so the trigger is like these thin connector pieces. That runs up to a gear, two small gears. That one connects to the trigger. That one connects to this hammer or lock for this gear. And I'm not going to spin it or else it will shoot connected to this gear which shoots it so now a little demonstration and then first of all I'm not shooting it with that barrel because I don't think it will shoot and then so I don't know if you'll be able to see it but yeah um so it does shoot pretty good for Lego um so yeah and then Here's the top, and then see those, the little gear, the little, like, flip pieces. They are supposed to stay connected, except they don't do a very good job of that. So, it's not my... So, I will probably make an updated version of this. I'm not exactly positive if I will or not. But, yeah, um, so there you go. Here's a demonstration on how it shoots. Um, 
And then this is not how the actual top stays on. It stretches all the way down to the bottom like that. And you put two by four on, or two by two on just like that. And hold on. Like I said guys, sorry about the crappy uh, camera steadiness. It's just that I don't have a bipod. So yeah, there's that. And then for a few attachments I have, silencer you already saw, red dot, holographic, ACOG, and the stock. So now I'll put the stock on so you can see what that looks like. And then that little connector piece right there. That goes into that middle hole right there, so right, right there. So then I'll take that, put that in, and that right here, this little thin 2x6 I think is, just push that down to keep it locked so it's nice and steady. And yeah, there's the, uh, so that's what it looks like with the stock. Put the silencer back on. And put like, and here's what it looks like with the holographic. Here's an MP5K so Sockum, or SOCOM, whatever, whatever the crap you want to call it. Take that off. Here's what it looks like with the red dot. And finally, here's what it looks like with the ACOG scope. Personally, I think the ACOG looks better on the G36C. Um, if you think so, if you think not, tell me why and leave a comment. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't know if I'll make instructions or a tutorial on the gun or any other thing like the, any of the attachments or anything. Um, I might, might not, um, and yeah, I'll look for some more guns coming up soon, I might be making a pistol next, I'm not exactly sure, because I got an assault rifle, SMG, um, I might make a pistol or shotgun next, I honestly don't know, so, um, yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, uh, leave me any, um, constructive criticism no mean ones no mean extremely mean um criticism anything like that and goodbye